Hello everybody. Right then, today and probably, probably tomorrow and the day after, I'm in the process of doing, I don't know if you can show me a workbench, I've got quite a lot of things on the go here. And I'm like finalising everything up, everything up to get me up to an airline test on my loco. And I've got quite a lot of, lot of little jobs that need doing. And I'll just quickly run through them. I've been finishing my steam chests off to get my inlet uh, uh, inlet um, pipe fixed too. I've also been making gaskets for the steam chest and the cylinder covers. I've also been sorting some O-rings out that fit where the piston rod comes through and on the valve chest where the valve rod comes through I've got them sorted out, the O-rings and in the, at the moment I'm just in the vice sawing some studding off because I had some temporary screws in my covers on my cylinders I'm now going to put studs in with nuts on so I'm in the process of doing that on the covers I've, I've drilled my hole that my slide bar attaches to I've done that so the slide bar is going to attach to that there and now I've got that done you see one job leads on to another now I've got that done I can line my cross heads up with my cover on to, to mark where the hole is going to be in this cross heads for the piston rod so everything's parallel and in line so I, I can eventually get that done now uh, what else have I been doing? I think that's it so I'm basically stripping everything down cleaning everything out and reassembling it reassembling ready, for, ready to fit on loco and then once I've got that hole drilled in the cross head I can then line everything up for my motion plates to fit on the frame and then I'll have everything in line that's why I've left them all till the very end so I'm on with some studying now uh, it's going to take me a couple of days to do all this I, I would think so I'll keep doing a few updates as I go along so I'll catch you on my next update then I've got my offside cylinder studs all made and what I've got to do now to finish this off is transfer the hole from the cover into the cross head where the piston fits so I've got to make a little bush which I've just I've just done it actually fit a little bush in set everything up square and then drill it for 2BA tapping size which is 530 seconds so the important bit here, you've got to make sure your slide bar is perfectly vertical to your cover. Then you can fasten your screw to clamp it in position, then push your cross head up to the cover like that, like that. 
then I've made this little bush, this drilling bush, to pop into that quarter hole and then I'm going to set that up in my milling vise it'll be exactly in line with the cross head and parallel with the slide bar and I've just clocked the slide bar up to make sure it's vertical it's within a thou and I want to clock across the top of the cover now to make sure that's horizontal then I know everything's in line from, so I can start drilling then Got everything coupled up now, obviously not the valve gear yet, but on the piston and the motion plate I'm, re I'm about ready now for offering it up to, to mark these holes off for the motion plate on the frame. <laughs> 